swear, every single time I open my app, I see some misinformation about food labels, when to use net carbs, when to use total, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to teach you how to correctly read a food label from top to bottom with all of the caveats. Starting off with the first level of confusion, the serving size up here. This serving size is pretty much always measured how the food is sold. So if you're buying frozen chicken breast, for example, this weight is of the frozen breast. If you're buying pre-made cooked chicken, this is the weight of the cooked chicken. Now I know it doesn't seem like a big deal, but the weight can vary drastically from frozen meat to cooked meat. And that means so can the macronutrients. You could easily be off by like 100 calories without even knowing it. Next, let's go over the calories of each macronutrient. Fat has nine calories per gram and protein and carbs have four calories per gram. And because of this, you can easily find out how accurate a label is just by adding up these three macronutrients. So let's take a look at this ice cream label as an example. There's 18 grams of fat, which is 162 calories because 18 times 9. Carbs are 4 calories per gram, so 10 times 4 would be 40 calories. And 2 grams of protein is 8 calories. Now this gives us 210 calories, but look, the label says 200, so they're lying, right? No, this is actually something else that people get wrong. Not all carbohydrates are considered equal. Not all of them are four calories per gram. So let's take a look below here. There is two grams of dietary fiber. And fiber can come in two categories, either soluble or insoluble. An insoluble fiber has zero calories per gram, and soluble fiber has about two calories per gram. And if we actually look at the ingredients, you can see something, something soluble, corn fiber. So this fiber is actually two calories per gram, not four. And the same thing goes for sugar alcohols. So instead of them being four calories per gram, they usually are a lot less. And most labels just consider them like zero calories per gram, even though they may have a few or some. So if we add all of this up again and correct for the carbs that like don't count, we can see that this is actually 176 calories per serving, not 200.